At first I thought they were called cattle, you know, like cows, like a bunch of cows in a field, but it's not cattle. Contemporary, Amperex technology, the something something. Sorry, I don't know how to say your name, but that's, that's what it is. I wanna see from the very beginning what's inside of the number one in volume battery manufacturer in the world and is in most of the electric cars. They have worked with all of these brands that are on the screen right now. This is a company that is based in China. This is not in China. This is actually in Germany, right in the middle of Germany. But what they're doing in Germany in order to help the local community to give people jobs and training that is gonna be essential for people moving forward in industries that are important. Okay, first we need to get all of our PPE Personal protection equipment. This place already looks cool though. Safety first when you're at a professional facility. New shoes. Goodbye, Air Jordans. It does have a steel toe. One size fits all. Safety vest. Now just so you know how serious they are about safety here, these are just the clothes for the car ride over to the battery factory that's across the street. This is the safest I've ever felt while driving. <laughs> yeah, I broke it. Sorry guys. This is the part of the day where we get a little sandwich baggie, like a food saver bag. You put your cell phone inside of it and seal it. Oh, oh I broke it. Yep, I'm good at this. I just broke the zipper. Remember these things? When there was that one thing that turns out they didn't have to? Well, inside of a battery factory, you have to wear them to wear a hood. They don't mess around with safety here in Germany. We're not done yet. What is my life sometimes? Gloves. We're ready to go inside the top secret battery factory. We're clean now. And I replaced my suit because I ripped the zipper. Well, this is the very first step. First, it's like a powder and they put it onto foil. Then they bring the giant roll out of this door and into this first machine. This is the cutting machine. What you're seeing right here, it's called a jelly roll. It's battery factory tour time. How is it made? A battery. Some of the stuff is being done that right now I'm not allowed to go in there, which is okay. And I'm gonna show you some of the highlights and some of the things that I'm able to show you how we get a battery at the end that is safe, that can fast charge, that can be rolled out to multiple different types of vehicles. And we've taken that giant roll and put it into this. Right here is the beginnings of a battery. The silver right there is actually aluminum and then the copper color is represents copper and it's the anode and the cathode, 0.1 kilowatts of a battery. And so in order to have enough for a 60 kilowatt battery, you would have to have 1200 of these. This really is the inside of a battery. These are all automated robots that pick up the different battery cells and transport them from step to step. This is a big moment. I can take off the stuff. We just saw so many things that are top secret for CATL, basically how a battery is made. And there's like 20 steps in there that I could not show that was the secret sauce. I don't think you can tell on camera, but that ceiling is so high up there. Have you ever seen The Matrix? It is a crazy good show from like the 90s. Really good show. That's what this place is like right here. This yellow rack right now is moving. Once they get all of the batteries in the cells, they're all put together. They bring them here and store them for about a week. And they're in these areas. Every one of these red dials is a fire suppressant in case something happens. So this is a safety test right here just to make sure that everything is good. There's a battery cell in there. I see it. Where's it tending it? going to its home, where's Neo? There it goes. It's going in, it's going into the home right there. It's gonna be there for a week. The official number is 
15 meters. That's how high this ceiling is, which I'm gonna put on screen how many feet that is. I think it's between 50 and 60 feet, but I'm not very good with the whole meter thing, you know? This is the training workshop. Check this out. This is a training program that is anywhere from one to three years. These are some kind of pneumatic sensors for robotic machines. And so this is the teacher over here. He's teaching them how to do things, trains them on the system, teaches them how to put that together and basically create parts out of metal. They can mill the metal here, create the parts, create the pieces. You need to make adjustments to machines and you have to be a jack of all trades. They want this entire factory to be run by actual locals and they're running the factories, the entire assembly line, everything about it. You develop the skills and you learn it here and then you can take that with you for the rest of your life. So, einer für den funktioniert nichts auch mit zwei. Die brauche ich halt. Das ist nicht bei Händen, nicht nur besser. I don't know what he's saying, but I'm sure it's something really important and smart. Look at all these tools right here. Little metal things. I'm going to show you the the fanciest tools of them all. A case where you put Rolexes. <laughs> Look at it. This is these are tools. Very organized tools right here. How about this one? Gauge block set. Whatever that is, I'm about to show you. I promise I'm not trying to steal anything or break anything. Look at that. I don't even know why you have pieces of metal. Very precise. I'm not gonna ask the teacher because he looks busy. Secure. I'm being so loud. Go learn. <laughs> Look at this. A bunch of brand new baby cells that just spent a week incubating inside of the matrix safety area. We have a problem. Tripod was not fully secure. It fell, camera was on it. This is what's inside of my lens. We were just about to walk in to the final part of the factory, which is the part where the battery cells go to be put into modules. Oh my gosh, the camera should still work just fine. I think this camera is good, um, but this lens is toast. And we don't want to use a cell phone that has Wi-Fi capabilities because they don't want us to send out specific top secret videos of things. I get it, I respect it. Hopefully we can see the end of the battery factory. That is the goal. We have to see the end of the process because it's actually a really cool part of the process. But I'm a big dummy and I broke my camera on accident. The final stage of the factory. The things that we are able to see, first of all, they bring the cells in and they do a cleaning. They even have like a plasma cleaner that looks like almost fire. It's not fire, it's a plasma, but they clean all of the cells. Even though it was just barely made in the factory right across the street, the process where they put the container around it and seal it and turn it into a module is super top secret. They do some different tests again to make sure that it's safe. And then my favorite part, we are able to see the end with the robot arms picking up the final modules and putting them into what looks like a big black Tupperware bin in order to be shipped off to wherever they're going to be going. And then they're gonna move it over to this. And now we have all of the modules at the end, the end of the line, everybody. We saw it from beginning to end. These are ready to go out to customers that are going to take them and put them into electric vehicles. The big question that everybody wants to know, are CATL batteries inside of Teslas? The answer is yes, and the answer is no. <laughs> Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai. They do use some CATL, but they also use other batteries. I couldn't show you everything inside of here. A lot of it is top secret proprietary things that they do to make their batteries and have the secret sauce. But hopefully there's enough there for you to see how a battery is made and that there actually is a lot of thought process going into it to make sure it's safe and works really well. Hopefully the audio is okay on this because this is my cell phone. Rest in peace to my camera. That's right, my camera is now gone forever. I actually threw it in the garbage can at CATL. And then somebody took it out and they said, we're gonna salvage it and see if we can get it working again. I said, that's great, do that. Probably shouldn't have thrown that away in the garbage in the first place. All right, I gotta go home. Um, thanks for watching, we'll see ya. There's another thing of tools somewhere that I wanted to show. We're just gonna open random drawers. <laughs> Organized tools. Look at that. This is a nice workshop. Okay, there's a rag in there, right as I say that. Ooh, look at that, there's a spot for all the tools. What's that? What is that? Oh, 
Oh yeah, now we're talking. The big saws are in the bottom. Open sesame. That's all you have to do is just say that. And push the button. <laughs> this is crazy.